Let's watch this Guy Ritchie's The Covenant. What the fuck's this about? It's a Jake Gyllenhaal movie, and I do like me some. I do love me some Jake Gyllenhaal. Shinigami Jewels. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. Wait, what? You get fucking shot, yeah? Oh no, he got hit with a butt of a gun. I don't remember any of it. I only remember the interpreter. Why he wants this job? I need the money. Strawberry cake pop Don't fanatic. Thank you for the, the five gifted no, as well. Teh Jaron. Thank you for the five Me, gifted. Sir. Money isn't the reason he wants this job. And Salabam killed his son. Oh. Stop the vehicle start. We don't want to go down this road. Ew. You bounds, Ahmed? You're here to translate. Actually, I'm here to interpret. John, you have tellers approaching. <laughs> Why is Guy Ritchie making like America, American war agitated propaganda? Like what the fuck? Or is he doing that? This would be shocking. It's giving Green Book, yup, a promo movie for the American military. Why? Dude, there are so many fucking incredible war movies that have been made. Jake Gyllenhaal played in one of them. And it's not fucking pro-war. It's usually anti-war. Wasn't Jake Gyllenhaal in Jarhead? Am I crazy? Am I... Yeah, he was. One of my favorite, like, one of my favorite War Sucks movies of all time. Yeah. Classic. God, Guy Ritchie sucks so much now. It's awful. This is the meme tweet. Americans will invade your country and kill your people. Then 20 years later, make a movie about how invading your country and killing your people made their soldiers sad. But that's the dude. That's literally IDF as well. But but um, dude, hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. Let, let's see. Let's. See. Well, I won't back down. For three weeks, this family believed you were dead. We owe that man your life. There wasn't enough room to carry me across those mountains. <laughs> No, Wait, hiding. you know this is like a, a version of this actually happened. Not exactly like this, and it wasn't an interpreter, but that famous movie with, uh, with Mark Wahlberg, the one that was written about uh, the, the Marines that were like on a fucking, or was it the Marines? I think it was a Delta Force or whatever, Lone Survivor. Lone Survivor is literally an Afghan dude, like a random Afghan dude that wasn't an interpreter, I don't think. Straight up saving the life of the dude himself. And then the dude who survived just wrote a fucking book that was completely made up and made a movie about it that was also completely made up. Meanwhile, like, yeah, Marcus Luttrell, lone survivor. In a hole somewhere. I should be in that hole. You could stand me about to so Everything all right, John? No, everything's not all right. There is a hook in me. Ahmed and his family are in trouble. We can't intervene. I am gonna have to get him out myself. Shut the fuck up. Dude, stop. Yo, this is disgusting. I have goosebumps, man. I have goosebumps watching. Oh, fuck you, Guy Ritchie, you fucking piece of shit. Make fucking better movies, you asshole. What the fuck is this? Why? Look how far you've come, you fucking dickhead. Have some responsibility. Have some shame, okay? You made Snatch. You made Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, yeah? Why are you making Saving Private Ahmed for the fucking Americans, you dog? God damn, dude. What the fuck? Oh, God, it's so gross. It's so fucking gross. Oh, this makes me so mad. I hate, I hate 
pro-U.S. military. I hate pro-U.S. military war movies. I love anti-war war movies. I'm a big fan. I fucking hate when they make movies like this. This is like Green Book mixed with fucking Saving Private Ryan featuring, you know, Afghan interpreter who speaks perfect English, by the way. Okay. Oh my God, dude. What the fuck? No, they're, we don't know. Maybe it's anti-war. No, fuck no. This ain't anti-war, bro. This is literally fucking, this is literally like one good American soldier understands the value that this Afghan guy uh, it gave him after being saved. He hated the Taliban because the Taliban are ruthless, brutal warlords. Uh, and they killed his son. So we, he joined along with the U.S. forces to do the right thing. And then the American government fucked up. But don't worry. This one fucking U.S. soldier is out there to right the wrongs of the American government by single-handedly going out there and saving him, dude. It's like there, this guy doesn't exist. Okay? This is not a real thing. You're just basically washing over why the Taliban are there to begin with and, and who fucking helped them get there. You're making, you're making like, uh, you're trying to make the cause look righteous when there was no righteousness involved in like going into Afghanistan to begin with. It should have never fucking happened. Okay. I hate that. I hate that. That's why I love Jarhead. Jarhead very clearly shows you like this shit is dumb as fuck. These fucking idiots literally were sent out there to sit in the goddamn desert for a couple days, got fucked up. And some of them got killed even during basic training for no fucking reason. And it should have never goddamn happened. It's my favorite war. Operation Desert Storm. Best. Best fucking uh, war of all time. Okay? It just... It's so... It's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. It's like... Yeah. The U.S. Army is struggling to find recruits. It needs to win the fight over the future. Yeah. Good luck, man. Good luck. Uh, you know, it, look, you, you want to know how the U.S. Army will go back and, and bring up recruitment numbers? I've talked about this before. The greatest, the greatest boom of recruitment happened post 9-11. So if that Chinese balloon somehow fucking 9-11 twos, okay, there you go. That's how you'll get a fuck. That's how you get recruitment numbers. That's it. Because no one, no one thinks the U.S. military is doing anything good. Fucking people that are enlisted right now don't think the U.S. military is doing anything good. They think... The U.S. military is a bunch of fucking losers, okay? They know it. The motherfuckers that are enlisted, that are probably in here right now, know that they're a bunch of fucking losers. They keep losing all the fucking wars, and they're just there to literally go overseas and, and work at the behest of Raytheon and, and numerous other military-industrial complex like uh, 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 giants. That's it. That's the goal. The goal is to sell weapons, oftentimes to both sides, and then, uh, you know, keep the war machine churning. And, I don't know, defend poppy fields if you're in Afghanistan so that you can fund JSOC and, like, uh, you, you can fund, uh, you know, CIA operations down the line that then continue the fucking war machine, okay? And you go in, you hope that you don't get your dick shot off by some fucking sniper while you're, you know, defending the fucking poppy fields, and then you come back, you go to college for a fucking free communications degree, and now you're fucked up in the brain, and you're also in the shitty job market where you're going to get paid nothing, and everyone's going to make fun of you. But hey, guess what? Guess what? Folks, if you join the U.S. military, guess what? We'll fucking, we'll salute you, okay? We'll thank you for your, your service. You'll get fucking $5 off jalapeno poppers at 11 a.m. on a Wednesday. So there you go. And maybe if you're lucky or really unlucky, you'll get your health care covered too on top of that. You know? That's it. You get to board the plane first, and that's it. So fucking stupid. You have no idea how correct you are? Of course I have every idea how correct I am because I'm not speaking out of my ass. Obviously, I didn't fucking serve, but, you know, I, I talk to vets all the goddamn time. <sighs> literally a single u.s trained operated night raid zero unit killed at least 452 civilians in four years 
Yeah, night raids are fucking dog shit. I mean, it's all awful. They literally, I mean, dude, you're, you're just doing an overall objective bad. You know what I mean? You're not doing anything good there. You're just not. Anyway, yeah, you can't even get a fucking Hellcat anymore. That's the other part. As the cost of living gets worse, as the cost of living gets worse and worse and worse, like, you can't even get, like, fun shit anymore. You can't even get the fun toys. You are never going to, you're not going to fucking recruit in the, with the same numbers that you need by making cool movies about how the U.S. military is doing a fucking great job when everyone understands that it's not doing a great job. They might act like, uh, you know, our veterans are protecting our First Amendment rights by killing fucking, I don't know, some random goat herders in Afghanistan or whatever, but everyone kind of understands, like, and doesn't want to think about it. That's what it is. That's Here, let me tell you the greatest example of this, right? What is it? Every fucking... Is it every 22 minutes a veteran commits suicide? Veteran homelessness? There is no better objective fucking fact that we literally do not give a single shred of a fuck about the, the U.S. military, its operations, or the people that are fucking thrown into the war machine than those two factors, okay? The only time anyone ever chirps about fucking American veterans is when they're trying to use them as a cudgel, as a talking point against immigrants, to be like, oh, why are we letting immigrants in this country? We can't even house our veterans. It's like, bro, you spit on the veteran down the fucking street, okay, while you're walking past them. You want the police to fucking brutally execute the homeless veterans. Meanwhile, you're acting like you give a shit about the veterans. Shut the fuck up. You don't care. You don't care. Nobody cares. The U.S. military uses your body and throws you in the trash. Exactly. There you go. And the only thing you'll get is this, okay? Oh, man, I'm fucking, you're so good. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Meanwhile, everyone, I mean everyone, basically fucking understands now, especially, that, like, none of this war shit that we've engaged in for the past 20 years has been an objective good, and it's just all been bad. And the only tangible thing, the only tangible feeling that we get from uh, war and and why war is bad, I guess, is from the people that come back. Everyone has like at least one relative uh, that they know that came back and is just fucked up, okay? They're everywhere, uh, having a hard time walking, crippled with PTSD, uh, trying to fucking self-medicate, addicted to drugs because like it's already too hard to deal with this shit. You know what I mean? And And, and that sucks. So you see no dubs, no dubs on the board. Dudes with fucking Adidas slides are just owning the, the multi-trillion dollar American military. They took over the entirety of Afghanistan in like two fucking days. Which, by the way, we negotiated. Remember that. Don't forget that shit. Okay? Like, there's no, there's no dubs here. There's nothing. That's probably why liberals are so desperate to cling on to like the... the, the you know, the good war that we're fighting narrative in Ukraine where they're like, yeah, well, at least we're like funding a good war for once, you know, a war for emancipation. And it's like, it's none of that matters, okay? They're doing it for money, okay? They're doing it for money. There is no such thing. They're just doing it for fucking money. Anyway, which was the worst loss, Afghanistan or Vietnam? I don't even fucking know. I can't even speak on that. I don't know. But what I do know is, well, I mean, we're not even talking about Afghanistan. We're talking about Iraq. What I do know is that due to the depleted uranium, uh, the depleted uranium that we used, okay, in Fallujah, for example, um, currently... The birth defects in Iraq, the birth defects in Iraq are worse than 
anything else. It's worse than Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You know? Even though Vietnam is is still uh, Agent Orange and, and due to the due to the weapons that we use, white phosphorus uh, in, in Vietnam, in southern Vietnam too, by the way, which is supposed to be the aligned area, um, you know, children still have hella uh, birth defects as well. Wait, what nuclear stuff got used in Iraq? Depleted uranium was used in, in Iraq. Your tweet yesterday got 330,000 likes. Yeah, I know. You know what's really funny about this tweet, by the way? All the people that responded to this. Did you finish the trailer? No, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not finishing that fucking trailer. Fuck Guy Ritchie. I couldn't even finish. I couldn't even get through one minute and 46 seconds. Okay, I'll finish it. Listen, you're going to be alone. There ain't no you got to adapt. This is what you got. If you can give me the location, if I can get him out of the country, it's too dangerous. You've become very popular with the Taliban. I miss you. Love you, Daddy. You think if I could be free of this debt, I wouldn't be? You think yeah, I have I a choice? There is no choice. No, I won't back down. Oh, man. <laughs>